Seven Fantastic Books and Where to Find Them. And Happy New Year! It is now 2018. And to start off the year semi-correctly, I went through all of my books that I have not read and rearranged my bookshelves. So this shelf, this shelf, this shelf, and over there are all of the books that I have not read that I own. Some of them are graphic novels, some of them are issues of comics as well, but in total I have 132 books that I own that I have not read or not finished because some of them I have started. You can see there's like so many bookmarks um, where I've started reading them. And another way I'm going to start my year off right is I'm going to do the New Year book tag by Heather at Bookables. I will pop a link in the description of her channel so you guys can check her out and check out the questions for this book tag. So let's get started. So number one is how many books do you plan to read in 2017? Uh, okay, so although I have 132 books that I've not read, I did, don't think there's any way on this earth I'm probably going to read that many in a year. I think I did 30 this year. I've put my Goodreads reading challenge at 50, which is where I think I started last year. And then, then as I went on, I did put it down to 30 just because of time. I knew I was never going to get through 50 and 30 seemed more realistic. But I think this year I'm hoping 50 is going to be realistic with any luck. Name five books that you didn't get to read in 2017, but you want to make a priority in 2018. And they are Nevernight by Jay Kristoff. I've been told by a couple of people that it's amazing, I need to read it. I did start reading it, um, and I was doing my weird book slog when I couldn't read anything, so I want to get back to that. I've been recommended the audiobook for that, and I do have some audible credits to spend, so I'm probably going to listen to that via audiobook when I'm at work. Number two is Six of Crows by Lee Bardugo. I've had this book for ages. It was one of the first sort of YA books I'd brought in a very long time. Uh, and I've still not read it. I've read the Grisha series uh, and I want to read uh, all the, you know, the new stuff that's coming out. But I've still not read the duology. So that's high on my list. I love Six of Crows. I also include Crooked Kingdom. Um, actually, a couple of these are, uh, for all of these are series, uh, the first in the series. So I do eventually want to read the others as well. But these are the main ones. Number three is Northern Lights by Philip Pullman. Um, especially with the Book of Dust coming out, I realised how many people who are shocked that I've not read the series. And I do really need to get down to it. It just sound like it's, it sounds like it's good. Um, and I own them. Uh, I bought them secondhand like a million years ago. Uh, but I've still not read them, so they're going to be on my list as well. Number four is A Darker Shade of Magic by V. Schwab. Um, I was already interested in this, and then last night, Stephanie Clean said, Oh, uh, the main character in that is basically like Hal from Hal's Moving Castle, which I've just watched recently and have fallen completely and utterly in love with. So that's actually probably going to be the highest on my list, that and Nevernight. Um, but I'm not going to lie, I'm more excited about A Darker Set of Magic now because of that. <laughs> and number five is A Discovery of Witches by Deborah Harkness. Again, this is when I started. I did try and do it with the uh, timeline read through. Um, but then that's when the, the book slog started to hit me really and I kept running out of time and I just didn't get around to it and I thought actually no I don't want to read this in little bits I want to read this in one fast sweep because it did seem really really good um, and actually it'll be ref I'll reference it in another question um, about the genre and how I really miss that genre um, and also the TV series is being made so it'll be really awesome to, to read the book before the TV series comes out and this is the question number three is what genre do you want to read more of in 2018? And for me, I don't know what the genre is called anymore. Um, it's not necessarily paranormal romance, um, but it kind of is at the same time. Just like like A Discovery of Witches, I really enjoyed that. And that's sort of more adult, um, but it's still not, you know, urban fantasy, I guess. But not YA urban fantasy. Not that I don't enjoy that. I do love that. But I do want to branch out a little bit more from YA. There's nothing wrong with YA. I love reading YA. Um, but yeah, after reading some of The Discovery of Witches, I do want to read some more of that as well. Question four is name three non-book related goals for 2018. So for me, this is number one is get back into exercise. And even if it's just walking and stuff, um, I'm with part of the Hogwarts Running Club. Um, so I'm going to do hopefully some races, air quotes, I just walk them um, with them. So I want to get back into exercise and I want to have a healthy relationship with food. Uh, I'm at the point now where if I get bored, I'll eat. Uh, and that's really, really bad um, for me anyway. It's different lifestyles suit different people and I think that's not helping with a lot of stuff for me so there's that I'm not dieting but I am gonna try and fix the way I think about food uh, number two is learning to deal with my anxiety and just chilling out because I stress about those stupid little things and I know that's my brain just doing that and I can't necessarily stop it but I just want to be able to deal with it better 
Um, I'm getting there at the moment, but yeah, I mean, I've had like a million takes in this video already, and that's already like setting me on edge, which is really, really stupid because it's fine, I can edit it. <laughs> and number three is kind of linked with that as well, and it's just being more positive. I'm really, really pessimistic. Um, and that's kind of helped me in some way because if you think the worst is going to happen, then if it does, you, you're kind of covered. Um, but I don't really want to spend the rest of my life thinking like that, or at least not next year, I guess. <laughs> So yeah, that's going to be pretty high as well, just being as positive as I can, trying to look on the bright side of as many situations as possible, and hopefully just everything being good would be nice. Number five is, what book uh, have you had forever that you still need to read? I have two. Uh, I have The New Hunger by Isaac Marion, which is a really, really short book, and I don't know how I've not managed to finish it. I think I keep restarting it. Um, he is the author who wrote One Bodies, and The New Hunger is a prequel to that. So obviously you find out how R became him how he become a zombie and how uh julie ends up in the situation that she's in um and because i absolutely loved warm bodies so so much some of my favorite quotes are from that which is really really weird i mean i loved when the film came out but the book is it's brilliant i love it um but and i was like i really saw a sequel is this prequel and i'm pretty sure there is a sequel there's a sequel coming um so i wanted to read the prequel as well and i just haven't got around to it and it's such a short short book i don't know if you can see from here it's right there, that, that white and red one there. It's tiny, um, but I've just not read it yet. So maybe that'll be maybe one of my first reads so that I can get away, it's really, really short. And going from a really, really short book to a really massive book, and that's American Gods. Again, I think that's that one there. It doesn't look that big there, but it's massive, absolutely huge. I have the audiobook for it, and the audiobook is really, really good. But it's just such a slog. Even on the audiobook, it just... I have to do it in chunks it's just it's massive um but it's, it's really enjoyable but it's sort of i i don't know i think when you read a shorter book you can like you can see the light at the end of the tunnel when american gods it's just like it's like another country away at the end of this book it's absolutely massive um but i want to watch a tv show and i was like i'm not gonna watch a tv show until i have read the book so i need to get on that as well but yeah it's massive number six is one word that you're hoping 2018 will be now I've written positive um, because I do, I want to act more positive and I want it to be a positive year for me, for everyone, just in general would be nice, I'd be lucky but you never know and actually, and I'm looking at my, it's got a pencil case on there and hope, actually I'm thinking about the word hope because like, also I'm on my Star Wars kick at the moment uh, and about how much that word was used in The Last Jedi and in Rogue One, which I only just watched recently um and maybe maybe hope's a good word for for 2018. I hope it's going to be good. I hope it's going to be positive. Um, and maybe that hope will get us through whatever hell I imagine is probably to come next year if this is anything to go by. Um, so yeah, I'm going to go with hope. I think, and at the very least, it'll just you know I'll just think about Star Wars. Number seven isn't a question. Number seven is tag a friend. I'm going to tag a few friends. I'm going to tag Steph at Geeky Clean because you've not done a video in a while, and I'm demanding you now do one. I'm going to tag James at Gundam Builder UK because obviously we also need to do a Gundam video together at some point. I'm going to tag Chris at Redot Gaming because you've not done a video for a while and you're my husband, so you should probably get on that. And I'm also going to tag Sarah Jane at The Book Life as well, so that it's not just all people that I hang around with last night. Also, I just like watching her tag videos. So yeah, that's it. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video, my first video of 2018. I promise I'm getting my, my screen fixed at some point. I know it's horrible and I'm really, really sorry. It drives me nuts. I did try filming the other way around, but um, I, I couldn't do it. It's just, no, I need to be able to see what I'm filming. But yeah, I've got some real stuff at the beginning of the year, but then after that, getting my phone fixed so that um yeah i can actually film properly i've got some reviews coming up i've got um what do people think about Star Wars? do people want to see a Star Wars review about the film i mean i'm reading a couple of Star Wars books and i've read phasma i'm reading bloodline i've read some of the pronoun comics um do we want like individual videos about these do we not care i mean i know it's i don't really talk about that sort of thing on my channel um uh, also do we want to talk about the film because I really want to talk about the film. So I might do it as like an extra video one week. And if it gets looked at, fantastic. If it doesn't, I get to run about The Last Jedi for half a long. Um, yeah, so if you're interested in that, let me know in the comments. Um, if not, don't worry about it. It's fine. Maybe tell me you don't want to see it, I guess. But I don't know. So yeah, that's it from me. And if you can give me a thumbs up if you like this video. And if you really like this video, give us a subscribe. I forgot to mention, we've got 200 and now one, 201 subscribers. Uh, when I last checked, which was last night, I believe. 
so yeah oh my god that's amazing i was so pleased i managed to get to 200 subscribers at one before the year was up that was a really good end to my year so that was fantastic thank you all for watching thank you all for subscribing and i'll speak to you next time goodbye